one thing was to recognize my emotions or my feelings mattered. Um, I used to put people's, other people's uh, feelings or emotions, how they felt about something, their opinion and how they felt on a certain subject. I would put that first before my own to where I never really took on the effect that, you know what, my, my, my thoughts matter too. My feelings matter too. You know, the way I feel about something, it also mattered, you know, and, um, and so I, I, I had tend to follow this kind of attitude that people, people's feelings just mattered before mine. And, um, to the point where my emotions was on a back burner. And, um, a lot of times, you know, I would be the yes woman, if you will, that would be like, okay, yes, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. You know, yes, I'll go ahead and do this only to make or appease, make that person happy for me or happy that I did it, or just making that person happy, you know, because I did it. Um, I just you know, just forsaken my own self, like, Hey, how I feel about it. You know, if just say you tell me to go do something and I felt like it was going to make you happy by saying, yes, I went on and said, yes. When reality, I had to recognize that, you know, my, my feelings are worth and of value. And there were times where people would get upset with me. Check this out. It would get upset with me when I called them out on something or I said something like, Hey, um, what you did was wrong or what you did, you know, it hurt my feelings and they get upset with me because I'm showing, um, I guess you say, uh, being up, you know, just being upset or being, you know, like sad or disappointed by them. They would get upset with me because I decided to say that, you know, you need to, <laughs> You need to wreck you need to fess up and, and, and take on your um take on your responsibility that you know the way you said this and the way you did that was you know was uncalled for and I'm not going to take that. And there were times, you know, people would get up like I said, they would get upset with me and then they'd be like, Why are you mad? Why are you mad? And I'm like, I have every right to be mad. I have every right to be upset. I have every right to show frustration. I have every right to, you know, to feel to feel. And, um, they, it, it would be like, you know, that individual or individuals would, um, they knew that they felt, you know, that they were guilty, but in, instead of accepting that, in, in, accepting that conviction, they would kind of just conceal it with focus on you, you're upset, you're frustrated, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be expressing how you feel. I had to learn my values. I had to learn that my feelings were a part of my values and it was something I needed to take on. But yeah, that, that was something that helped me as a person to um, take care of myself. That if what that person had did was disappointing, I didn't have to feel like I had to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 